It's plastic surgery. I was in drama. Shout out to my drama peeps. Got some drama for you, Hana. Kaboom! What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. Oh, girl, almost looked at the camera, honey. You know it's about to be a juicy ass video, honey. That's scandal. All y'all been talking about Escondalo t-shirts. You can buy Escondalo t-shirts as y'all been begging for them. Here they are, girl. All right, girl, my camera looks a little wonky, just like my eyelashes. This tripod is acting a fool, girl. She don't want to come. She don't want to help me out, girl. So it's a little bit, you know, but just bear with me, girl. So in this video, we're talking about busted ass Patrick Star. Now, out of all the beauty gurus, girl, Patrick Star, I like, okay? There's something about Patrick Starr that's a little bit different compared to the rest of them. To me, in my opinion, she doesn't come across as fake or disingenuous, in my opinion. But then I say that, but then stuff like this happens. But needless to say, I still feel like, you know, she's a good person. I like her a lot because she reminds me of so many people I've met in my life that were generally good people. And I just feel that way. But I can't help but to feel like all the other beauty gurus kind of just step on Patrick Star, like, girl, not bothered. And that's just my opinion. I feel like they use Patrick Star to get to where they want to go. And then when they get there, they just ditch her, girl. And that's not cool. That's why I kind of like her a lot. Patrick Star made a video where she was talking about she got plastic surgery. She got pumped the house. Oh, no. oh yeah, I remember now. The winner of the iPhone 6 Plus cases ooh, are right here. Message me on Twitter and I'll send you your stuff. All right, cool, peace. So Patrick Starr is talking about getting, you know, plastic surgery and stuff, right? Look, I got the receipts right here. You know I got the video, girl. I got the video right here in my purse. Let me get it. Got the receipt right here, girl. Boom. You guys see Boom. how smooth my skin is? I did microwave, needle I did a little bit of Boom! I did a little bit of filler underneath my boom. eye. It's plastic surgery. Kaboom, kaboom! She's at it again, Miss Thing. Miss Patrick Stars at it again. Boom! On that ass. Hashtag kaboom! Kaboom! All right, so here's my views, my opinions, my conspiracy, allegedly, on this whole stuff, right? Okay, my opinion is on plastic surgery, getting pumped the house, yada, yada, yada. All right. I am all for getting plastic surgery, liposuction, all that tea, right? Let me tell you why. If you got big ass titties, honey, and you want to shake your titties, but your titties are so big that it hurts your back, I'm all for getting a breast reduction. If you have a low self-esteem and you want to get some big ass titties, honey, I'm all for getting them plumped up, you know, a little, all that, all that. You feel like you want to lose some weight, girl? Get the liposuction, I'm all for that. But... What my fear is when it comes to life, when it comes to plastic surgery, nips and tucks and all that, you can do everything to my body, but don't touch this up, girl. I'm telling you the house, because if you, I'll give you a good example, right? So let's say I want to go get some big ass titties, honey, okay? Let's say I go to the doctor, right? So he gives me one big ass titty this way, and this titty all little and wonky and messed up. Okay, I can always wear a t-shirt, I can cover that up, right? But if, let's say I go to the doctor and I'm like, ooh, girl, give me a little nip, a little tuck, and he messes it up, and I'm looking like this, girl. I don't care how much makeup you're going to put on me. It's going to be kind of hard to cover up what the doctor messed up. So that's why I always say I'm off for good plastic surgery and lipo and nips and tucks from the neck down, girl. But don't touch this mug, girl. Don't touch this sickening mug. You see this mug right here, honey? Don't touch it, girl. And these people, they be getting plump lips, girl, plump eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time when I was growing up, there was just one, this this was like a trend. And I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure this trend is going to come back, right? But there was this trend where people would get their eyes almond-shaped. You know, more like this, or was it like that? Yeah, just almond, you can just like Google almond-shaped eyes, right? They'll get surgery to make their eyes more almond-shaped, their cheeks more plumped up, their lips plumped, and more contoured look, girl. Give me that sickening look like I'm a steal your man, honey. Girl, 
I'm just saying, I don't mess with the face when it comes to plastic surgery. You can give me titties, you can suck my titties out, give me lipo, big titties, big ass, hips, all that stuff. But don't touch this mug, girl. You're not gonna touch this mug, okay? So right here, stay off the limits, girl. We can do everything else, but don't touch this mug, Miss Thing. I'm telling you the house, because if they mess it up, there's no going back, girl. Look what happened to Michael Jackson and that nose, girl. Telling you the truth. And that's why these people, they want, and that's another thing too, nose jobs too, it's so scary to do anything with the face. You get what I'm saying? That's my opinion. And we're allowed to have different opinions, okay? I live for Miss Patrick Starr though, sometimes. Not all the time, but for the most part, you know, I do her. I think she's cute. But you know what I'm saying? If you have low self-esteem and you feel like a little nip, a little tuck can help you enhance your self-esteem, by all means, go for it. But just be very cautious with the face. But that's pretty much all I had to say about Miss Busted Ass Patrick Starr. I love her so much. See you next video. Peace.